Stephanie Wilson, John Higginbottom, Yvonne Kegel. All influenced, all inspired by one woman. This woman was by the name of Dr. May Jemison. May Jemison, an inspiration from the stars. Never be limited by other people's limited imaginations by May Jemison. May Jemison was born on October 17, 1956, in Decatur, Alabama. At age 16, May Jemison attended Stanford University on a scholarship to study chemical engineering and African American studies. Jemison then graduated college in 1977. Jemison applied to and later discovered she was accepted to Cornell Medical School, where she pursued her career as a doctor and earned her medical degree. I grew up in the 60s. I lived on the south side of Chicago. And I was a young girl who loved to stare up at the stars. I imagined myself going there. I studied all the things about the Apollo program. I knew what mission was going to take place when, what it was supposed to accomplish. I decided to go to medical school because I wanted to do something called biomedical engineering. While I was in medical school, I had the opportunity to go and work in a Cambodian refugee camp. I went on to study group in Cuba. I worked with the flying doctors in East Africa. But I still wanted to go into space, so I applied. I picked up the phone. I called down to Johnson Space Center. I said, I would like an application to be an astronaut. They didn't laugh. I turned in the application. There may be a certain naivete when I say, when I applied to the astronaut program, I didn't even think about the fact of whether I would be the first African-American woman in space or anything like that. It didn't even cross my eye wanted to go into space. I couldn't have cared if there had been a thousand people in space before me or whether there had been none. I wanted to go. On September 12, 1992, at 10.23 a.m., May Jemison, along with the crew of Mission STS-47, traveled into space on board the Endeavour Space Shuttle. They flew out of Kennedy Space Center in Florida on runway 33 off of Launchpad 39B. Out of all seven astronauts aboard Mission STS-47, four, including May Jemison, were taking their first trip into space. Mission STS-47 aboard the Endeavour lasted 7 days, 22 hours, 30 minutes, and 23 seconds. The LS is go for auto sequence start. We have a go for auto sequence start and the handoff has occurred which puts the space shuttle on its own power. T minus 17 seconds, we're coming up on a go for main engine start. Yes. Let's go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one, solid rocket ignition, and liftoff. Liftoff of Endeavour on America's 50th space shuttle flight. The purpose of mission STS-47 was to experiment on material and life sciences in minimal gravity areas, such as space. The environment in which the crew tested in was called Space Lab J. The way they ran the experiments was by separating into two teams, the red team and the blue team. Every minute of every hour of every day, at least one of the crew members were experimenting on the test subjects. Live tadpoles that were brought back that were actually conceived and born in space. Uh, the experiment went very well. Uh, the results now, the investigators are out at Ames Research Center working uh, busily on things, but very generally, the gross appearance of the tadpoles that were conceived in zero-G look very normal, they seem very normal. So it was a, a good experiment. One of the things we also wanted to look at was how, what was the behavior? Was there a problem with uh, their tadpoles' interpretation of what goes on in zero-G? Can they swim normally? So we actually took up tadpoles that were hatched here on the, on the ground and watched their swimming behavior. 
Some of the things it seemed like as if they had a difficult time figuring out um, which way to swim, as you can see, so they swim in circles, but were able to uh, bring tadpoles back down and also observe their behavior. TVC 2 on. Now we've got uh, TVC 1 and uh, we see uh, May at the workbench. Okay, copy. Yeah, May, we're looking right over your shoulder and we have a good view of the uh, IV pump. And uh, May, uh, Jerry requested if you've got time uh, to get a 35 millimeter shot of that bag. Oh, tell Jerry I have lots of 35 millimeter shots of this bag. He was impressed. In Space Lab J, 44 items were tested on. Some of these test subjects included members of the crew, Japanese koi fish, cultured animal cells, plant cells, chicken embryos, fruit flies, fungi, plant seeds, frogs, and frog eggs. During mission STS-47, the crew studied the formation of protein crystal growth. Crystals were grown using specialized furnaces. The formed crystals were then exchanged back to Earth for further observation to better understand the crystal formation and growth, which will help duplicate the crystals as similar as possible on Earth. Conductors of energy were also observed in an attempt to try to improve the quality of electronic components. Furthermore, Due to the anti-gravity in space, many types of ingredients used to form glass were suspended, combined, and melted together using sound waves. On mission STS-47, many experiments examined the physiology of living organisms. Other experiments on the mission included how gravity affects the development of animals, such as the experiment effects of weightlessness on the development of amphibian eggs fertilized in space. Rack, and we went in there and it was a fairly uh, simple thing to fix once we took the insulation away. It was similar to just fixing a leaky faucet uh, at home, but it uh, kept the, the loop intact and we were able to continue with furnaces such as this, which is the image mirror furnace. Uh, it was one of the more funner projects to work on on orbit because it was rather interactive. You had to establish a melt zone. In this particular scene, we're putting a quartz tube uh, around the sample, and then once we got the uh, image mirror closed, we went ahead and brought the samples uh, together and uh, we bring them together so that the focus of the, there's a light bulb in the back and also one in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the, uh, the focus of the energy is on the gap between the two samples. Uh, this was uh, one of them that we did. Uh, we did two other uh, experiments in the, in the image mirror furnace. One of them was uh, a glass cube experiment. Uh, this glass cube, we were, the objective was to turn it into uh, a glass sphere and do some measurements. May Jemison helped bring back data from space regarding live cells and interactions in microgravity locations. When back from space, Jemison along with the rest of the crew from mission STS-47 exchanged valuable information discovered in space with NASA. These reports were consulted with the discoveries of animal behavior within cells in non-gravitational areas. The explorations involved structures on different substances they tested, such as protein. Experimental samples of liquid measured in milliliters were also given into NASA to experiment on. This helped scientists create improved versions of medicine and new synthetic products. <laughs>